Hi, V activists. I'm so happy to be talking with you today. I want to begin by just saying uh, a huge, huge thank you. Thank you for all the work you have done for V-Day over this last 15 years. Thank you for being on the front lines and doing the extraordinary work of ending violence against women and girls in your communities. Thank you for putting your lives at danger. Thank you for standing up for women who haven't been able to stand up for themselves. Thank you for working hours and not getting paid. Thank you for volunteering to put on the vagina monologues and to raise money for communities and community groups that have no money. 15 years ago, almost 15 years ago, when we began this movement, we believed we could actually end violence against women and girls. That's what we set out to do. We've had amazing victories, as all of you know. We've changed laws. We've broken taboos. We've said the word vagina everywhere, from the parliaments to the churches. We've raised consciousness. We've supported women. We've joined women. We've built networks. We've put violence against women forward, working with many, many other groups. We've come a long way. But in fact, we haven't gone the distance. And if we don't go the distance, there's a very good chance we can always be pushed back. This is the moment where we have to escalate and amplify our efforts. And on February 14, 2013, we will be doing the biggest global action we have ever done. I want to say it may be the biggest volunteer global action that has ever been done on the planet. We are inviting the one billion women who have been raped and beaten and battered and cut and acid burnt and mutilated and undone to walk out of their jobs, walk out of their schools, walk out of their homes, walk out of their offices, and to find their posses and their groups, and to dance, and to dance, and to dance, and to shake this planet into a new paradigm. Dancing is so powerful. The women of Congo have taught me that. Women who have suffered the worst atrocities, I have seen how they have turned their pain to power, to strength, to generosity, to courage, through dancing, through their bodies. When we dance, we take up space, we build community, we don't know what's going to happen next. When we dance, it's holy, it's sacred, it's sexual, it's dangerous, it's spontaneous, it's transcendent. And when we dance, it's free. No corporation can control us, and we have no idea where it will take us, but we're doing it together. So on February 14th, I am urging every one of you to be brave, to be bold, to invite everyone to dance. Everyone. Don't pause. Don't hesitate. Don't say, oh, I don't, can't ask this person because they're not this, or I can't ask this person. No, ask the person. Say, come and join us in dance, because we know that ending violence against women and girls is the mother issue. It's in the center of all the other issues. If you look at saving the earth, or ending poverty, or ending AIDS, if you look at who is on the front lines of all those issues, it's women. Women. And if women are being violated, if women are being cut, if women are being beaten, they can't do the work of saving life, of giving life, of birthing life. So I urge you to see this as our next step, to bring everything you have to spreading this. We have 5,000 groups signed up, over 160 countries. We have ministers, we have first ladies, we have movie stars, we have movement builders, we have trade unionists, we have activists, we have migrant workers. We have everybody on the planet coming to join and to rise. And I know it's going to happen. And I know all of you are going to make it happen. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I am so moved, I'm so honored, I'm so privileged to be in this struggle, to be in this dance with you. And I can't wait to dance with you on February 14th, 2013. One billion rising.